What in the fucksicle is this? My name's Cable. I'm here for the kid. What? The kid? Move or die. This was obviously a pretty life-changing experience, transforming into Cable and training for this role. What, can you talk me through the process of it? I did work very hard. I have a great trainer by, by the name of Justin Lovato, who was amazing. I work out at the Mecca, where Arnold Schwarzenegger works out. He gave me some tips. Um, they didn't work. No, that's not true. They did work. And uh, we had 11 weeks to do it, and we pulled it off. We didn't think we'd be able to pull it off, but we did. Ryan was very pleased as a producer. As an actor, he was just jealous, but as a producer, he was pleased. Is there a bit of friendly competition between you two? I don't know. I don't know what it is at this point. There feels like there's going to be a marriage soon, and we're deciding whether we really want to go through with it or not. You're kind of frenemies. Frenemies. That's yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what we're doing. What was it like working alongside him? This is obviously his baby in many ways, and he co-wrote it, produced it, stars in it. Yeah. What was it like being on screen with him? I, you know what? I mean, all joking aside, I love him. I really do. I have, I have, you know, this week we have a crush on him. You this and the proposal and all that stuff. But there's something about him that's very unique to me. And he's found and he knew for eight years that this was the role for him. And there's, I've never seen a marriage between an actor and a role like this one. And he's completely liberated. So he's a happier human being. Do you feel that sort of affinity with Cable as well? No, I don't know with Cable. I mean, Cable, when I went in, I remember doing the first scene and it was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't think I made the right decision. Because you have TJ Miller, you have Zazie, and everybody's hilarious, and it's all stand-up comedians and all that. And I didn't really see where I fit. But apparently I fit. Kids give us a chance to be better than we used to be. He needs you. You're a lot smarter than I look. <laughs> and what was it like for you seeing yourself on screen for the first time? Obviously a lot of it was makeup and costume, but with all the CGI bits, I mean, you just looked so badass. It was good. I looked better than I felt. Do you know what I mean? As a 50-year-old guy who was going through a lot of fighting and a lot of soreness and a lot of, both of us, I mean, uh, um, Ryan too. But, you know, it was a very active film. And then you think how you feel is going to come across on film, which I was really worried about. But I, it doesn't. I, I do. I feel like a badass in this film. Not because I feel like a badass, but because he looks like a badass. We're going to form a super duper fucking group. We need them tough, morally flexible, and young enough to carry their own franchise for 10 to 12 years. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. And were there any particularly surreal moments on set? Um, yeah, every moment. From beginning to end, from the first moment that they said action till we wrapped. Um, you know, again, I, you never quite know what's going to happen when you work with Ryan, and he's coming up with other things and other scenarios. And I think he worked with David Leach really well, and they were coming up with, you know, action sequences and funny sequences, and then you're reacting to a guy who's not there, who's a CGI character. I mean, it's all pretty weird. It's all like taking five heads of acid that somebody put in your coffee and didn't tell you. Let's go get our fuck on. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my feet. What the fuck does it feel? Making the tears rain down like a monsoon. Listen to the bass go. Tell me they got that in slow motion. I think that you and Zazie are amazing additions to the film. It's really nice oh, to see a strong female character as well. Yeah, what was absolutely. It like working oh, with she's great, man. I mean, I didn't know her work at all, and I went and I saw Atlanta that I thought she was great in. I like the version of what she did. I don't know how much of that was her choice or how much was um, Ryan or you know other producers or whatever. I just think it's a really fresh version of that. Doing the right thing is messy. But if you want to fight for what's right, sometimes you have to fight dirty. Nat. 
is why Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants is pure pornography. Oh, God, I wish I finished college. And you've signed on to play Cable for it's a four picture deal. Are you looking forward to exploring him further um, in, in the other? I place? am because I think we found our stride. Like, you know, he, Ryan found his stride in the first one and he kind of. You know, it was touch and go and finding out what works and what doesn't work and then it gets out there and people react to it and you have a better understanding of, you know, what people enjoyed. And now I feel like we've gotten there and I look forward to uh, going further with it, especially with his ideas. I think he's come up with some great ideas. It lives up to the hype, plus plus. Fuck it, they probably won't even make it three. Yeah, why would they? Stop it too. You killed it. <laughs> <laughs>